You are not ready. I know. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all the Akim pushing this truth is sincerity by Shimro Kakwadash. Um, one of the brothers uh, posted in this in the group chat, and this is Bruce Lee, The Art of Dying, okay? And um, he says, like everyone else, you want to learn to win, you know? And it's true, you know? Everybody wants to win and nobody wants to die. Okay, but we know that, you know, coming in this ministry, you know, not only do you die from the old man, you know, you're dead to the world, and you always carry about in your body the dying of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, the way that he died, okay, basically is an example on how much faith and how much, um, how sure he was of his mission okay and um this is another uh, edition of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things and i saw this and I, I thought it was very very spiritual man okay let's 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 get the scriptures this is the book of uh now we're gonna play i mean i'm gonna read the scripture that was on the um it was on the video. This is uh, Matthew 16 and 24. Then Yahweh shot, then said Yahweh shot unto his disciples, If any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So if you come to serve Yahweh by Shimei Asha, you have to deny yourself. You know, you cannot think about, you know, um, you know, the things you want to do, your will. You have to, you have to take upon the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You have to forget about yourself and forward the ministry and forward the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Exalt this truth. It says, and take up his cross and follow me, right? You have to take up your cross. Okay. Now a cross was a death sentence. Okay. We know that we have done things unto death. So you basically live in faith. You live in faith that if you continue to walk in the light, you know, and, and the Lord will 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 sup with you and, and redeem you in the end if you continue in this work it says for whosoever will save his life shall lose it right and 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 you can't you know you 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 have to basically live like you can you know at any day you could lose your life you know there's there's a saying in the world everybody wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die you know everybody wants to win but nobody wants to lose you see and, you know, you take L's in this truth, man, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. You know, you're not always 100%, you know, you, you, you know, you, you, uh, you miscarry in this knowledge, man. You know, you can't be of the mind of, nah, well, you know, I, I've never done nothing wrong. You know, I've never wronged no one. Cause that's that, you know, you've never sinned. That's a lie. And the truth is not in that man. Okay. It says, whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Right. And if you are prepared to lose your life, well, you know, for Yahweh Shai, for this knowledge, for this truth, man, you, you're going to find everlasting life. You're going to find the meaning of life. Okay. Because we know that the Lord is, 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 is going to redeem even the martyrs, even those that die. Even the those those that get slandered and get took into the to the to the brink of of, of of breaking, the Lord's gonna be with them, you know. Even all those who take L's and those who suffer greatly in this knowledge, okay. You lose your life for you how about you are gonna find it. You're gonna find the meaning of this truth if you're willing to if you're willing to to go down that route, you know, you 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 know. Let me let me get this. This is the book of Proverbs 18 
and 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. Okay. And, and before honor is humility. And I want to focus on this right here. The, the latter part. And before honor is humility, man. Okay. Before you be honored. Okay. Before you receive the crown, there will be humiliation. There will be humility. There will be L's that you must take. You know, it's just the way it is, man. You know, look, look at look at Yahweh Shai. He's the author and, and, and finisher of our faith. Okay. And the scriptures say the servant is not greater than the master. Okay. Before honor is humility. You know, so he said you must, he said in that video, you must free your ambitious mind. So when that day comes, you'll be liberated from death, you know, and, and it is in man to be ambitious. It is man, it is in man to put himself forward. But, you know, we have to remember to, to, to not forward our own selves, you know, to forward Yahweh Bashim Yahashai and let what may come, come, you know, whether it be death, you know, or whether it be life, you know, because there is an honorable death. And that's dying only to receive a crown, only to be re resurrected first. Okay. And those that live and don't die, well, they're going to be, they're going to be um, caught up with those in them chariots, man. Okay. But, but there, there is an honorable death and there, and, and there is a dishonorable death, man. That's when you wake up to everlasting shame, you know? So. Let me get one more scripture. And it's funny. I was reading the commentary on this one. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 10. And Lord, one, this is making sense, man. But, you know, it's very interesting what he said, man. You know, it's very much of a truth that, you know, everyone wants to, you know, hold the W, but nobody wants to lose. You know, every, you know, everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. But you have to be willing to go through the straight gate, through, through, through positions of difficulty, man. You see what I'm saying? The scriptures say that the, the Yahweh Shai despised the shame sat, uh, 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 was put on the cross. That he didn't like it. He didn't like the shame of getting spat on. He didn't like the shame of, of them hitting him and say, tell us who prophesies unto you. But nonetheless, he knew he had a mission. You see? And, 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 and to come out on the other side, it was great glory. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 10. It says, Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? Always bearing about in the body the dying of the, of the Lord Yahweh Shai. When you understand that the Lord died for you, okay? That you're only in this ministry because the Heavenly Father, he very much may have washed your sins away. You know, you you, you have a certain type of humility, man. A, a humility that, that it really humbles you down. You see? That, you know, a man, you know, you know you're in this, in this, uh, this chains of darkness, man, you, 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 you think twice about how you move. It says that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be manifest in our body, right? The life of Yahweh Shai may be manifest in our body. What does that mean? That, you know, his life, we live it on the earth. You know, we're, 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 we're very much um, devoted to this ministry. We're very much separated from the world. We're very much, um, you know, despised okay and and you know what did paul say man that he he thought the apostles were set last as if it was unto death so yeah we think that we know pretty much that you know one day they're going to come for us man but either way we know that ultimately death is going to be swallowed up man we're, you know death is going to be conquered you know there is no death we're really just you just sleep okay until 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 everyone gets risen up OK. And everyone gets their lot in the kingdom, whether for righteousness or whether for 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 that um for that for that shame, you see. It says for for we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake. Right. We're always delivered unto death. So we have to liberate our minds and know that, you know, we you know, that's going to be some of our lots. Now, we don't harp on this, but we know that this is this is. This is this, this, you know, this is a reality. You know, we, we, we are, we, you know, like Apostle Gabar says, you know, we, we speak about reality. You know, we don't speak about fantasy. We tell you the truth, man. You, you know, 
you could very much perish for this truth, man. It says that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh, right? Because because basically what we what 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 we go through, you know, Yahweh Shai he already went through it, okay? And that's how our life is made manifested. The, 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 the you know the things that he went through, we we you know. That's why we have comfort because we go to the scripture and say, hey, well, you know what? Yeah, how was I went through this, man? So our so his life is made manifest in our mortal flesh. It says, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. Because the apostles, the disciples, the election, they have a heavy lot. Make no mistake. Okay, there there is levels in this in this thing, you see? And there is um you know, there is a governing body, there is a 144, there is some that are raised up. Okay, to be a great example unto others, man. For so, 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 so then death worketh in us, but life in you. Because the apostle Paul suffered a lot of things, but he brought a lot of fruit. He taught a lot of people. Okay, so it says, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. And like look at the apostles. You know, they're 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 getting in age, you know, they're 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 you know, they're full of and I, that was funny, I was just thinking about that today, how how um the apostles they're 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 um you know, they, they have a lot of gray hair. You're saying they have a lot of wisdom. They've been through a lot of stuff, man, with this truth. Man, holding this knowledge in this world, man, I, I can imagine, you know, how much they have suffered, how much they have encountered, how much wisdom they've had to use to maneuver in and out of situations, okay? But let me get this in the text commentary. It's something very interesting. And, and this guy, Dave Guzak right here, he's, you know, he... Sometimes he goes off, but, you know, there's some times where he's on point. This is something very interesting that I found here. Let's see, let's see if we can find it. Let's see. Okay, it's coming up. All right, here it is. Okay, so it says here, D. Always caring about in the body the dying of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life of Yahweh Shai also may be manifested. It says, Paul, like any Christian, wanted the life of Yahweh Shai evident in him. Paul knew this could only happen if he also carried about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai. There are some aspects of the Most High's great work in our lives that only happen through trials and sufferings. You see? There are certain things that can only you can only benefit or you can only learn from by trials and sufferings. You see, you know, it's not always you're going to be talked good about. It's not always that you're going to get the win, that you're, you're going to get first and this, that, and the third. There's certain things that you have to suffer, man. You see, there's certain trials or certain things you got to go through. It says by writing, always caring about the body of the dying of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Paul meant that he felt as if the death of Yahweh Shai was being spiritually worked inside of him. You see? It, it, it feels like you die. The scriptures say we die daily somewhere in Corinth. The second book of Corinthians says we die daily, man. What does that mean that, you know, you know, we're going through it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The uh, apostle Ramlov said it today in, in the video that he did. He said, you think you're the only one suffering? He's like, you're not. Brothers was going through it. You see, it says he is saying that the death of Yahushua was not only a historical fact. It was also a spiritual reality in his life. In Philippians 3 and 10, Paul speaks about the glory of knowing Yahweh Shai. Let's read it. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection, right? The power of his resurrection. Those that die, they're going to be resurrected. So we have to liberate our minds like the video says, because we don't really die. Okay. It says, and the fellowship, it says, and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. You see? And the fellowship of his sufferings, right? We, we are, we are, we are not only inheritors, okay, of the kingdom, but we're also, we're also uh, partakers, okay, with him in sufferings, man. The scriptures say, if we, if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. Roughly paraphrasing. So yeah, man, this, this truth is, it's not a cakewalk, man. It's not meant to be either. There's great glory coming for those that overcome. For those that overcome, so like yeah, so like I'm at the park. Dudes is just being rough riders out here. Anyways, I'm going to continue. However, 
Let's read this. Paul speaks about the glory of knowing Yahweh Shai, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death. Many long to know the power of his resurrection, but want nothing to do with the fellowship of his sufferings or being conformed to his death. However, there are certain fragrances the Most High can only release through a broken vial. So Paul rejoiced in knowing both the suffering and the glory. He knew that the two were connected. Okay, always delivered to death. Death is working in us, but life in you. Paul knew the spiritual riches that he brought to the Corinthian Christians came in part through the death like suffering he endured in ministry. Okay, the death like suffer he endured in ministry, man. Contemplate on that. Contemplate on what it says here. Death like suffering in the in the ministry. It, it, you know, it, it feels like you, we are appointed unto death, man, because we are we are just, you know. In, a, in 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 last place in this life, no, nobody cares about the, the the men of the Lord. Nobody cares about the the potential elect and what they're doing and how they're trying to, you know, help help teach their people. How they're trying to, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, change themselves and how they're trying to walk uprightly in this perverse world. You see, and how they they uh they are opening, you know, ushering Yahweh Shai, the coming of the Lord, telling the world, hey, this is what's gonna happen. You know. You know, that, that's that's a heavy lot that, that, you know, this is the most high made Paul more effective in ministry through his suffering. Sometimes we think that if someone is really spiritual or really used of the most high, they will live in a constant state of victory. Right. Right. You, you know, and, and, and Bruce Lee spoke about um, everyone wants to win, but nobody wants to lose. OK. Or. uh Yeah, you like everyone else wants to win, but nobody wants to, to lose or something to that effect, he said. It says that means life will always be easy. Understanding what Paul wrote here not only tells us that the Most High servants may experience death like suffering, but the Most High has a good and glorious purpose in allowing it. You see? And and, and it, it, you know, me, myself, man, it, it, you know, these past couple of years, I've been understanding that you have to understand, you know, the, the, the Lord wants us to suffer, you, you know. Paul besought the Lord to take away an infirmity from him, but he said, no, you're, my grace is sufficient, okay, for you, because you are made strong in your weakness. That, you know, there was a strength in him being weak. There's a, there was an example that he showed by him constantly enduring, you know, him constantly uh, uh, going through things. So let's continue. But that the Most High has a good and glorious purpose in allowing it. It says, see, G. Campbell Morgan tells the story of a great young preacher who was impressive early in his ministry. Once he had the young man to speak at his church, and after the sermon, Morgan asked his wife, "What wasn't that wonderful? She quietly replied, yes, but it, would be, it, it will be more powerful when he has suffered. Morgan adds, well, he suffered, and it was more powerful. So he adds his little commentary. It says, death in us, but life in you. Here, his example, I should say. Here's the irony. The Corinth Christians despised Paul because of his great sufferings and because of what they thought was their great lives of victory. Okay, and he spoke, he speaks about that in um, I want to say First Corinthians the fourth chapter when he says um, that uh, roughly paraphrasing he says um, and I wish you would reign so that we would reign with you because you know they they were they they had to be you know corrected the Corinthians had to be corrected and they were they were somewhat high minded if if you will it says the Corinthian Christians despised Paul because of his great sufferings because of what they thought was their great lives of victory. They did not see their lives of victory were only possible because the Most High made Paul such an effective servant through suffering. Very good interpreters think these words are smart, ironical expression by which the apostle reflecteth upon a party in this church who from his sufferings concluded against the truth of his doctrine or his favor with the Most High. Yeah. You know, so, you know, sometimes, you know, people think and see the men of the Lord. They're like, well, why aren't you prospering? Why is this going on? Why is that? You know, well, the Lord uses, you know, the the examples of suffering, of, of going through things, of taking L's and, 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 and even having to overcome death as an example of how much faith, how much endurance, how much we need people like that around us to show us. Hey, man, if he can do it, man, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? That dude, hey, look at what state he's in, but look, he's overcoming, man. I, you know, follow that example. And we're all examples to each other because we're all suffering. That's why we have different different spirits. That's why we have different walks of life. That's why we have different wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, but the same spirit. 
you know, if that makes any sense, you know, like, like, you know, like the, for instance, like the, uh, the, the, the disciples, you know, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, you know, they, 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 uh, they wrote, um, about the same events. We, how should I forget? They were, they were written in different types of account. They saw things, uh, um, I guess you could say, um, through different eyes, if you will. Okay. So I just wanted to bring this out, you know, I'm going to play this again and, and end it out. Lord willing, brothers was ed edified. <sighs> The art of dying. Let me see if I can. You are not ready. I know. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. May it be well with you, Mike. Right. May it be well with you, brothers, as well. Lord when this was edifying and you brothers, you know, may 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 it be well with you brothers as well. So I want to say Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Shai, call Halal. Hayalaya, how Bashimi Aoshai, Bashim Rokakudash, Brock a thumb to you, brothers. Shalom.